Hello traders, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video talking about VWAP and specifically Anchor VWAP, which is pretty much a VWAP that we are going to, as the name implies, anchor or start it from specific points in the chart as we're going to talk further and how this is going to be a very useful indicator not just for sessions day trading which is what i mostly use vwap for but how you can apply it also to longer term charts to help you in your swing trading if you haven't done so make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up so you don't miss out on any new content i also have a lot of uh, several trading courses which you can check on the description as well with more strategies that i use and check out the description of the video because i have a lot of links to different playlists my most popular videos etc all right here on youtube so let's start off first by defining what is vwap a volume weighted average price is used to calculate the average prices of financial instrument over a trading day by taking into account the total trading volume it is a precise combination of volume plus price plus time in stocks we most normally people use just regular market hours but you can also show a vwap during the pre and after market hours and in futures also you can also split your session vwap and use it in extended trading hours or just regular trading hours and again regular trading hours for stocks and futures is from 9 30 a.m till 4 p.m eastern time so what is an anchored VWAP? Anchor VWAP is basically any VWAP that we start or anchor from a different starting point, different than just the daily session start. So basically, any VWAP that we start at a different time than 9.30 a.m. Eastern is going to be something that we can just consider to be an anchored VWAP or whatever market, whatever the regular session market for any you know if we're looking at crypto if we're looking at forex etc any vweb that we anchor on a different point than just the session start to that market then we can just say it's an anchored vweb okay so what utilities or why is vweb useful well unlike a traditional for example moving average which only takes into account closing prices over an average period well, I mean, over a specific period of time, VWAP is taking into account volume. Volume is a really, really important aspect in trading. You know, I love my volume profile indicators, and VWAP is basically like the ultimate um, moving average, if you want to call it that because it's taking not only price and time into account, but volume as well, which volume is very, very important in order to gouge market sentiment, okay? So how do institutions use VWAP? Well, VWAP is considered to be a fair price. So in general, if we go down here to this principles, VWAP is considered fair price. If prices above VWAP, buyers are set to be in control. If prices below VWAP, sellers are in control. A sideways VWAP means there's indecision. The market is ranging. If we have a VWAP that's sort of moving sideways, then when it starts curving, this indicates that we're getting into a trending move and the steeper the line is, the stronger the momentum is going to be. So how, for example, do institutions use VWAP? Well, VWAP is used to measure how, um, you know, where you want to be buying or selling to be considered fair prices. So for example, if you're a big institution and you want to buy a million shares of a, a company, you know, you're not going to just simply go and in one shot buy a million shares because, well, depending the market cap and volume for that company, the daily trading volume, if you buy a million shares at once during one session, 
the market is probably going to shoot up and then your average fill is not going to be very good at all. So what a lot of the big institutions do is they use VWAP. So for example, if we have a VWAP, you know, that's going like this and then we have the market coming here, then they're going to be splitting their orders into different um into different child or sub orders so for example if they have a million to buy let's say they start buying 200,000 right here then market starts a little bit trending then once we start coming back to VWAP then they might add 200 more right on VWAP market starts going up again because more participants come in seeing this as a pullback to get in on the uptrend then we they wait once it gets near VWAP again then they start adding more etc okay this is just one of the many techniques that is used for VWAP but basically for example if they want to buy a million shares over a month period at the end of the month they can see okay what was the final price for this monthly BWAP at and then they take order executed orders do an average of entry and if their average entry was below VWAP that means they were buying at a discount they had a good entry if however their average buys came up above BWAP then that means they did not have an efficient execution and they overpaid for this stock in this case okay so this is used by a lot of institutions and in algorithmic trading as a guide as to where they are getting in efficiently on moves so for retail traders like us we can use VWAP in order to help us gauge what market sentiment is to help us get better entries and exits near um, fair market value prices we can see when markets are overvalued when they are at a discount and then just go from there okay so there's several ways that we can anchor VWAP the main four is the ones that I have highlighted here and we're going to go through examples of each one on different markets just to so show you. First one would be high volume events. This is also related to the second one, fundamental events like news, Fed meetings, stock earnings, etc. All these events can cause a big influx of volumes to come in and make big gaps or trending moves in the markets so those are two ways we can anchor VWAP we can also use technical market structure levels so for example you know if we have a, a market uh, a chart of a market like this then we can take extreme swing highs and extreme swing lows as different places in order to anchor VWAP we can use technical uh, sorry periodic times which this is probably the most common way of anchor VWAP that I see which is basically like a yearly VWAP quarterly monthly weekly and then finally you have just your regular daily session VWAP okay so we're gonna go over all of this now let's start talking about trading platforms because depending what platform you use you're going to have different types of VWAPs available to you um, TradingView has many different tools as far as VWAP so if you just go to indicators and you type VWAP you're going to get a whole list here you have this um i have four marked here as my favorites three are from uh trading view and one is a custom one from one of the uh users so if you just select the first one volume weighted average price this is just going to give you a session VWAP basically whatever market you're looking at from the open to the close of the day this is the VWAP you're going to get then we have VWAP auto anchored which is the ones that I have applied here on the charts and I'm going to show you in a bit where you basically have a list 
and you're just going to select if you want a yearly, quarterly, weekly, etc. So it's just going to automatically reset itself after every period. So for example, every week, if you have a weekly, it's just going to reset itself. Then we have rolling VWAP, which is basically a continuous VWAP from the very start of whatever instrument you're looking, the beginning of the data all the way to the end. I don't really use this VWAP a lot. And then you have, uh, there's several user-made VWAPs. This one is pretty popular. It's called Multiple Time Frame VWAP by More Diggity. There's several different ones as well. And basically this is just going to take one slot of your indicators and you can select several different VWAPs just from one because depending what kind of package you have on, on TradingView, you're going to have a limited number of indicators available that you can apply. So it might be useful to use one of this if you want to save, um, if you cannot apply a lot of indicators all together, okay? And then finally, there's also under the chart drawing tools, there's a new tool right here called Anchor VWAP, which you basically click on this and you click anywhere on the chart and it's just going to generate you a VWAP from there. Okay, so if we go into this ES chart right here, you can see I have applied the uh, indicator for the multiple time frame VWAP, which I have applied here. If you go to the settings, you can see that I have enabled daily up to yearly, and I have, and I gave each one a different uh, color. You're gonna have to play around with the settings to get it to look the way you want, but basically, you can see it reflected here on the chart. This is an S&P chart. And if I zoom out here, let's say, let's go to a four hour time frame. You can see here how the yearly VWAP starts right here in January, 2023. Then the monthly VWAP starts here. I have it in light purple at the beginning of every month right here. The weekly VWAP is going to start obviously um, every Monday. The uh, quarterly VWAP is going to start in January, in April, etc. And so you can just apply all of them. So this is one way to do it. Or you can go over here and just start applying the auto anchored VWAPs, which is the way that I prefer because if I put the four hour chart again and I zoom out, you can see this looks a lot cleaner because once you apply it and the new month starts, it just starts a new monthly VWAP and erases the last one. If you have the multiple time frame one, uh, you can see that they just roll over, but then you get all these lines everywhere and the charts look a little bit messy. But again, this is an option if you do not have a lot of indicators available on here. Uh, let me close this one. And now we're just going to focus on the auto anchored VWAPs. Here you can see I applied this myself. They don't have labels, but I just applied labels for the sake of this video just to explain to you. Um, the monthly and the quarterly here are actually overlapped because April was the start of the new quarter and it's also the start of the current month we're in. But you can see here, if I hide the quarterly, you can see in blue, I have the monthly VWAP. If I put on the quarterly, you can see we get the purple line again because they're um, one on top of the other, okay? And so, if you use a uh, Sierra chart, I use a session volume profile on Sierra chart split between extended hours and regular hours. However, Sierra chart doesn't have a, um, a anchor VWAP drawing tool 
just like we have uh, over here on on trading view or an auto anchoring periodic view app but I'm gonna make a video in the coming weeks as part of my Sierra chart tutorial series where I'm gonna go over how you can just use a volume profile indicator and just hide the profile and enable VWAP and you can use that as an awesome anchor VWAP tool okay but now let's start talking about the different ways you can uh, anchor VWAPs okay oh and first of all before I forget let's talk about crypto and Forex because I know um, as you know crypto forex are decentralized markets so people say you don't have uh, a precise indication oh no it's not the people say it's a fact that you don't have a precise indication of the volumes overall for the whole market so you can just use you know a specific uh, broker for example here this is euro us dollar on oanda and on the right i have the cme euro fx futures you can see that the charts are very very similar however we do have some differences in the vwaps on these markets as you can see i'm using the multiple um time frame vwap custom in uh indicator and you can see that the monthly the, i'm sorry the weekly and the daily are pretty similar however you can see that the quarterly and the monthly differs from one to the other in case of the futures the quarterly and monthly is higher than how it is shown on the spot market so just be aware of that there is a difference in this too however you know you can just back test it see which market would be more um appropriate for you and see if you get useful information from this but again i personally only use um vwap mostly in my futures trading and sometimes i do use it in uh crypto when i am looking at the um at the um at the crypto markets so for example here If I go on a Bitcoin chart, I have here all my auto anchored VWAPs. So I have right here a yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and the session. And this, you just go to settings. And you can see right here under inputs, anchor period, there's a whole drop down. And right here, you can just select any of these options that you want right here okay so talking about bitcoin here for example you can see how if we take for example right here the beginning of april which was the beginning of the monthly and the quarterly vwap you can see how as the VWAP develops, normally when you anchor the VWAP, the first few uh, days are not going to be that useful because we are still developing it. But once you're a few days out or a few weeks out, then now it becomes a lot more significant when price starts moving more. You can see, for example, here during this period of sideways consolidation, we had a pretty flat VWAP right here. As soon as we started trending, now we start getting this curving and now this is showing us more opportunities in order to catch a um, an entry and a pullback, uh, either waiting for a pullback to long or if you're short, then VWAP can also be a great area to look to close out or take profits as well. And you can see right here, this monthly quarterly VWAP was a big resistance right here a few days after we started on the month. And then we had this breakout. We came back, retested. We took off. And then we came back here 
uh, three weeks into the month and we had a very nice retest here of the monthly quarterly VWAP and a nice reaction from there. Okay, so you can see how you can use this on any market that you want on any time frame. If I go intraday, for example, on a five minute chart, for example, oh well, this the market just opened here, so it's actually not that useful. But if we go let's say here let's go into a futures market and you can see if we zoom out on the daily for the s p 500 we have here our yearly vwap which we started in january and you can see how price started trending up we came back tested it, bounced from it, broke down below here, and then we had resistance right underneath it. Here we had a breakout and then a break back in. We came back here in March and we had big resistance for four days right here before we had a breakout. So now we can use this yearly VWAP as a future price target on any move down or to look for a retest and a bounce from this yearly VWAP as well. If we go into lower time frames, for example, a one hour chart and we zoom out, we can see here in more detail the yearly VWAP retests that we could have used this if we were intraday trading we could have used this information in order to make short-term trends with it or if we zoom in and look at other uh, VWAPs here we have the monthly and the quarterly And we can see right here how, like I said in the beginning, if you see that price is just chopping through it, you want to wait until market gives you some room and then you start coming back into it. You can see how this anchor VWAP now we are towards the end of the month and now we've had a lot of support here at this quarterly and monthly VWAP. If we zoom in and look shorter term, we can see this weekly VWAP, for example, how last week we opened right over here. It was proving as resistance all through this first day but again you want to let it develop a little bit probably is not going to be useful until uh, the second or more days but you can see right here on Tuesday we came back into it strong support on Thursday market open with a strong move down we went back and just started holding the weekly VWAP as resistance both in the early session extended hours and then again right at the uh, close of the regular trading hours as well okay now how do we use uh, VWAP in terms of entries well in that case we can either set orders at VWAP which will be a little bit riskier because we don't know if it's actually going to break through or reject or what you can do is wait for markets for example here this is a Tesla chart right here and you can just wait for markets to prove if it's going to want to break through or if it's gonna break through and then come back in so for example here we have 
the yearly VWAP coming up here. We came down. This was a very precise touch. So if you had a limit order or bought it right here, this would have been a great entry for a shorter term trade. Then we come down again here. We gap down below it, but then we close right on it. And then the very next day, we just started pushing up. So once you have this confirmation, then you can use VWAP for your stop placement right below, in this case, the wick of this candle that breaks back above. And then you know that once we're on top, buyers are in control. And then, you know, you can use this to write it out, for example. Coming here on Tesla, you can see again the monthly and the quarterly VWAP. In this case, we had a big gap down when we started right in April. And then you can see how this VWAP has been very strong resistance on all these different retests that we've been having in the last uh, few days, last week and the week before. Okay, now let's talk more about all the different ways to anchor VWAP. So we've already talked about the periodic times, yearly, quarterly, monthly, etc. Now let's talk about the first three aspects. So from a high volume event, here we're going to look at the crude oil futures market and you can see we have had this happen two weeks ago where there was a surprise uh, oil production cut announcement coming from the Middle East. This cost then obviously if we're going to cut supply that's going to make prices shoot up and we had this happen over a weekend where pretty much when regular market hours opened up again right here, we had this huge gap up into the um, open. Right there. Okay. And you can see right here, this was the whole gap pretty much that we had into the open. So then we can use this opening price on the high volume event and the fundamental news as a place to anchor VWAP. And then you can see for the first few, the first week, we had it pretty sideways. When VWAP is sideways, it doesn't really give us a lot of useful information. You can see prices just constantly chopping through it ranging. But once we get a trending move, this is when you really want to then pay attention when price is coming back into this, you can see right here we came. We did not have a good reaction off of it, but instead we just started rejecting from below it. We did have a breakout here, but then we quickly fell down below. Then we put in this pin bar candle. Let me zoom in just so you can see this in more detail. But you can see how we had resistance, then we broke out, but then we had a big red bar coming back down, and then we had this bearish pin bar back into it. So in this case, this could have given us a good area to set our risk, and then just from here, look to uh, enter a short position once we see market start trending downwards and that sellers are back in control. Okay, so that's a uh, volume event example. We can also use this for fundamental events. So for example, uh, FOMC Fed meetings. We have an example here, the last meeting that we had on March 22nd, 2 p.m. Eastern time, we can see the big volatility that we got right at 2 p.m. First, a big push up and a big spike, then a move down. Then market started stabilizing the day, uh, the day after. And so if we can anchor a VWAP right from there, and for all these anchor VWAPs, I use again the anchor VWAP drawing tool where I just click on any 
place on the chart that I want to start it from. And you can see right here, a few days after the event, you can see how this VWAP has been getting very respected as support. We did have a slight deviation below it, but you can see how we reclaim it. And again, you can use VWAP as a dynamic support resistance level. And you can see how we get back on top. Then we can use this as a set for our risk. And then you can look for uh, longs once we reclaim above it, for example. Okay, so that's a fundamental event driven uh, anchor. We can also use if you're trading stocks, you can use company earning reports. So for example, this is a four hour chart of Netflix. I only have regular trading hours on but you can also mark off the extended hours as well. It looks pretty messy because of the highlights you can see here pretty much the blue highlights is post market hours. The orange highlight is pre market hours and then the white background is just the regular trading days. But if you just want to do for stocks, I would just focus on regular trading hours. And if we zoom out, you can see here how I anchored this two VOFs, for example, from this earnings session right here, and then this earnings announcements, you can see a lot of this gives you very big moves that usually happen when the regular market is closed. So it's very risky to hold trades open overnight in stocks when there's earning announcements coming. And you can see them just all highlighted here. But you can see how this view apps again, price shoots up here, then we go below it. And now we start using it as resistance. And then right here, even in the future, you can see how now price gaps above it and we still keep respecting it here as support. Same with this announcement here. We have it anchored. We come on, we start. And then a few weeks later, it's given us big resistance. Then we break out and now we're testing it as support from the other side. OK, and again, you know, this is not some magical indicator that you just need to fade any touch of it, but it just gives us a good general overview of where we have uh, fair value and gives us a good information as far as price, time and volume. And the final method that we have uh, in order to anchor would be just technical levels in the market. So for example, here, this is the meta, the Facebook daily chart. And if we zoom out, you can see that this was a significant high and this is a significant low. So you can just anchor it from here and from here. And you can see how this high, this is all the way back in September of 2021. And you can see how we came here in the beginning of 2023 and we just touched this perfectly as a bearish retest when we gapped up this was exactly where price touched before we had this rejection here we have now broken above and retested it as support right there and then same thing here we anchored it to this low we've held just above it but now if market starts coming down, then this could be a useful area if you're short in order to look to take profits, for example, or to look for a possible entry long to fade a retest of this. OK, another example, for example, if, if I go into the ES market again, the S&P, a very popular spot that I see a lot of people using to anchor VWAP. If I go into the three day chart, 
is for example right here at the low of COVID this was a very uh, significant swing low right here which we had in March of 2020 and then we had a very strong trend up here you can see how we broke out and came and did a perfect retest here and then we just started this crazy run up that we had in 2020 and 21 and then you can see right here since last year 2022 we had a big downtrend and now you can see from the slope of this that we have pretty much been now sort of in a range we can see we're pretty much ranging in between this 600 point area which obviously you know it's a wide range but if you're doing more longer term swing trading or investing then this is just points or areas that you can be looking to trade at but you can see how this has still been respected recently like here in March we came back and retested it and we had a very nice test from that and the market pushed up okay so that's pretty much it for the video hope this has been useful again this is just an overview of what the anchored volume profile uh, anchored VWAP is volume weighted average price how we can use different um, different uh, anchor points and how this ones can help us make trading decisions and trade management as far as where we can look for more efficient entries better trade management where to take profits where to set our stop losses etc okay hope you liked it again if you haven't done so make sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up and i will see you all in the next video take care